Hi everyone, Jared Dorrance from the Man's Cave, and we are on version 2.0 of Arrow Guns. And this one is built on a Daisy pellet rifle. And uh, I'm going to be doing a how to on this in the next video. It's a, a fantastic gun. It doesn't shoot quite as fast as the last Arrow Gun, but it is a lot easier build. Okay, so it has a ball valve again. Uh, I'm using a 9 ounce tank, it just looks better on this gun. Just have a, a standard 22 scope on there. Um, the arrows are quite a bit different as they had to fit this barrel that's, that comes with the gun. And the cool thing about this, this setup is it uses the arrows which are a 2219 aluminum arrow and they're cut down so they'll fit on the uh, barrel. And just slide on there like that. But the other cool thing about it is you can still utilize the pellet rifle. I am having a little bit of problem with uh, sighting it in. I've got the arrow sighted in and uh, it shoots really well that way. But the pellets, I think it's launching them out there faster than, than normal. And so I'm going to have to get a secondary sight system to, uh, to sight that in. So, but it's a really cool idea and I'm hoping I can get it to work. So let's go ahead and shoot it now. Okay, so that is how it shoots. That's pretty cool. I can definitely spend a little more time being accurate. I just didn't want to hit any of my arrows together, so put them in a little different spots. But to shoot it, simply put your arrow on, and then you cock it back, and then you uh, put air in the chamber, and then it's ready to shoot. And then when, it's, when you're ready to shoot, you just pull the trigger. And so, Pretty cool setup. It works really pretty well. I'm excited to uh, take it on a hunt or two and show you that. But the reason why the Daisy pellet rifle is working is because on the inside valve, when you cock it, the hammer, when pulled, it opens the valve completely and lets all of the, the air in the chamber out. And so that's why it's working for an arrow gun. I've tried other, other pellet rifles in the past. I've tried the uh, the Crossman, and they have a, a different valve system with a, a hammer and a finger type valve that's just a momentary, where this is the hammer opens the valve on a permanent basis until it's closed again. So really cool. I'm excited about it. I'm really excited to show you guys the how-to. But for now, let's shoot a few more times, and uh, I'll also show you it shooting a pellet. So let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna shoot one more one more set of arrows and then we'll we'll shoot some pellets through it. But I want to thank uh, Lance at the top of Utah Archery in uh, Cache Valley, Utah, for hooking me up with these arrows. It took me a while to try to find them, and I, I went and talked to him, and we were able to find a size that fit the barrel nicely. So I want to give him a shout out for helping me with that. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that now and, and see what kind of. I'm a little bit closer. I'm only about 10 yards now from the target, so let's see how well we work here. Ooh. 
little high, but we're at 10 yards, so that's expected. Um, pretty cool setup, huh? There we go. Like I said, to load it, like I showed you before, cock it back, that resets the hammer, put air in the chamber. Oh, stacked an arrow. I'm gonna aim just a little bit lower so I don't hit the, the arrows again. Okay, well I'm getting a little bit gun shy, I don't want to stack any more arrows as you can see I did there. Anyway, um, I'm excited to do a how-to on this. I am going to uh, change up the valve a little bit, I'm going to try to sink it down into the gun, bring the tank back just a little bit more. All in all though, I'm pretty happy with the results that we're getting. I will be getting uh, all of the numbers, we'll, we'll shoot it through a chronograph, get those numbers for you, um, we'll shoot the pellet pellet gun through the chronograph also to get numbers. Let's shoot a couple pellets now though. Put one in my mouth so I get lead poisoning. I'm a little disappointed in Daisy's pellet loading. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But let's go ahead and shoot one for you. A little bit too much pressure in the valve for the pellets, but uh, the cool thing is, is you could be out hunting rabbits or squirrels and if, uh, if there's a squirrel or a bird in a tree and you don't want to lose an arrow, you can load a pellet and you can shoot that bird or squirrel, once we get a secondary sight system set up, you'll be able to shoot an animal like that and take it down without the worry of losing an arrow. So this, I'm really, really excited again to show this to you. So that how-to video will be coming out in about a week, just waiting on some parts to come in. So I hope you liked my video and uh, I have a lot more videos like this be shooting a lot more so subscribe to my my channel so you don't miss those future videos let me know what you think in the comments below what you'd like to see there are other pellet guns I'm going to be hacking and, and doing some uh, conversions on at some point too I want to switch over to compressed air and, and play with that a little bit I just got to come up with a little bit of money to buy a, a, a hand pump and some tanks to, to fit it so anyway like I said Hope you enjoyed, and that's all, that's all for today. We'll talk to you later.